Hey there. This is a video response to a question which was kindly posted in the comments section of one of my videos. The person asks, how can you tell how spiritually developed someone is? Now this is a really interesting question because many people upon first appearances will believe that there's no answer to this question. Your spirit is something hidden in you, something that can't be seen by others. Other people will think it's a bad question to ask. You, you shouldn't be trying to judge or assess people on their own spirituality. That's, that would be a, a negative thing to do. The truth is that every spiritual school or set of teachings develop criteria for success at what they're doing. And that this is an extremely important thing to do. If you don't have any criteria for success yourself, you can't quite see what's working. So you don't know what things to keep on doing, what things to stop doing, what qualities in yourself to amplify, what things to get rid of. And likewise, for a teacher, it's really important that with compassion, they can clearly judge their students as to how they're doing and be able to adjust what they're teaching them in order to better enable them to achieve their goals. In Indian yoga we see texts that list siddhi or spiritual abilities and the texts make clear that these are the signs of attainment in yoga, the actual ability to do certain spiritual things. In Buddhism, we see perfections or qualities that uh, should shine through in your personality, which show you're getting closer to your Buddhist goal. And indeed, anyone who's read text on Christianity will know that there are qualities that are associated with sainthood or uh, connection with the divine grace there. For me, the two principles that help me judge my own progress and to be inspired by others are the saying from the Bible, which is, by the fruits you will know the tree, and the hermetic principle of as above, so below. I believe the spirit isn't something that's hidden away. In fact, I don't believe it can be hidden. I believe it shines forth in every word, thought and action. So to me you can look at the consciousness and the uh, abilities, the quality and the intentions of someone's normal everyday consciousness and you can see how far they have managed to develop in, in their path. Likewise, far more importantly, you can look at your own consciousness and you can see what exciting areas of improvement you've got. So in meditation, we're looking to have a calm, clear, unbroken or disturbed train of thought or consciousness. And in people who have very much developed themselves, you can see this in their daily life. I remember watching a, a very inspiring Zen master who was hoovering a room. And it was a very repetitive task. And uh, what you do is you hoover. And then you pick up the cushion that people are meditating on. You hoover underneath and you hoover the bottom of the cushion. And you put it down exactly in the, the same place. And his performance, his, his hoovering was beautiful. It was calm, it was connected, it was consistent, it was unbroken. And it had a sense of kindness and joy in there. And this is a very important thing to, to express. Have you ever noticed that when you really focus on something, when you get involved in a job, there's a sense of happiness in there? Well, this is part of this, this ability to be fully present 
in my opinion. You've probably noticed that when when people are happy, when everything's working in their life, their kindness shines forth and they seem to find it easier to, to get on with things efficiently. It's when things um, are not quite working, when they're broken, that you can see negative strategies that perhaps could hurt themselves or others start to appear. So what I'm looking for in myself is to see uh, ability to be consistent in my daily life, so that's the, the big scale, uh, uh, undisturbed consciousness. And then actually in the individual tasks, the ability to keep on target, to have a ongoing flow of unbroken awareness, which is in the moment and uh, holds a sense of both joy, kindness and tranquility to it. This to me is the true reflection of our abilities. A, uh, a sense of aware goodwill shining through everything we're doing, a skillful application of consciousness in each and every action, motivated by good intentions towards all. And the closer I get towards that, the more I feel I'm achieving my, my purpose. And the more the little things fall into place. I believe this is the way you can assess someone else's spiritual development. Look at what they're doing, how they're doing it, and what their motives are. And look at the fruits. Look at what results they're having in the world, what effects they're achieving. And by the fruits you will know the tree. And as above, so below. This is, in my opinion, the, the best way to assess yourself and others. And this allows you to move towards those who you would like to be more like and emulate. And to make sure that if you see qualities in others that you would see as adverse or negative that you can eliminate them from your own personality.